Hi, I'm Stanley Livingston, and you're watching BroadwayBlogspot.com. Well, my career as an actor is a pretty long career. I've been doing this for 55 years. I know I don't look like I'm 110, but uh, I started when I was five years old. I actually started in the industry as a child actor. And like most actors, uh, the first job I had, I didn't have any lines. I was cast as an extra. Uh, I got a couple jobs as an extra, which led to a part on an old TV show called Ozzie and Harriet, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. And I was cast as an extra again on that show, and Ozzie Nelson was selling Christmas trees in his backyard, and a bunch of little kids with backpacks and sleeping bags walk out of this forest of trees he's trying to sell. And uh, for whatever reason, Ozzie came up to me and said, hey, I want you to say this line. And my line was, sure was mighty good camping in there, Mr. Nelson. And I said that line, he gave me a close-up, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. I got my Screen Actors Guild card, the Nelsons called me back, I worked on The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet for about five years as a neighborhood kid. Um, started doing movies, uh, I did some movies in the late 50s with uh, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, uh, Rally Around the Flag Boys, Please Don't Eat the Daisies with Doris Day, David Niven, uh, another film called X-15 with Charles Bronson and Mary Tyler Moore. Uh, which led up to about 19, the end of 59. I had a pretty good little career going. I was in demand, did a lot of different TV shows back in that era. And the producers of a show that was to be called My Three Sons. Uh, I was called in on the interview for that. And um, I guess they liked me because I was the first person cast besides Fred McMurray, who the show was built around. Anyway, the show took off in 1960. We went on the air and who knew? Uh, that show ran for almost 400 episodes and for 12 years making it the second longest running sitcom ever on TV and it still plays today on, uh, on different ch uh, channels. We've been on TV Land, Nickelodeon, the Hallmark Channel and right now uh, a new upstart network called MeTV has My Three Sons on daily again. So uh, show never runs out. Anyway, that, that's how I got started in the industry and kind of took me through My Three Sons. When that was over I was 23 years old. So. Had a pretty good run. Well, after My Three Sons, I went on, and as most actors do, you, <laughs> you're a freelance actor. You're not, you know, doing the grind of nine months at work on a TV series anymore. Um, you know, I worked on various TV shows, different movies. I never really did theater, and I actually got involved in theater at that point, uh, both as an actor and as a producer. Uh, my brother and I did several plays, and we'd go on tour and be gone sometimes for four or five months. And uh, it was a great experience. It was something that I wasn't used to, but to get a second chance at doing, you know, uh, a scene or a role or an entire play, that's great. You know, when you're an actor on TV, if you get it right on the first take, they're moving on, and that, that's it. But to actually have the time to create a character, to go back and refine it and work night after night on the character and try and get your laughs if you're not getting them or try something different the next night, I mean, that's a, a really rewarding experience. And I don't see how any actor could be a, a successful actor without having been immersed in theater uh, as much as they can, actually. Well, it's called the Actors Journey Project, and I'm the CEO and founder of the company, uh, as well as the director and producer uh, who produced the Actors Journey, which is a program for adult actors that really focuses on the business side of our industry. Uh, we also did a second project called the Actors Journey for Kids, which is for kids. It's sort of, it's really for the parents who want to involve their children or teens in the industry, and all the materials directed at them. For 40 years, we've seen what? Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people arrive and where do they all go? Well, we were looking at it and we did pretty intensive research into this, you know, to find out that the problem really is, is there's nowhere to go to, to get this information. Uh, the colleges don't teach it, the universities don't teach it, uh, it's never been aggregated anywhere so that you could take it as a program or a course. So decided to found a company called the Actors Journey Project and really aggregate all this information for actors so that there is a formal comprehensive program 
specifically focused on the business side of acting and we covered about 60 topics that we felt are completely relevant to that side of the industry. We don't get into the acting at all. We leave that to the acting schools. We involved over 100 people from our industry in this, uh, not just actors, although there are a lot of actors involved in this, people like Henry Winkler, Michael York, Sherman Hemsley, Melissa Gilbert, people that have been doing it for 20, 30 years. But we wanted to immerse other people in the project as well so that you get a plethora of point of views. We involve directors, producers, casting directors, talent agents, talent managers. Uh, the president of the Screen Actors Guild was involved in this at the time we shot, also the president of the Directors Guild of America. Two people sat on the Young Performers Committee for the other project, the Actors Journey for Kids. So all these people have been doing this 25, 30 years. They really understand the industry and how it works as a business and what skills you need to launch a career, to advance a career, and, and the most important thing of all is to sustain a career. My whole career has been looking for the weakness in the wall that stands between you and the rest of your career. It's not a question of wanting to be an actor, it's of having to be, because it's just that demanding. You can't think you want to be an actor. And it's the truth. You got to know it. You have to be tenacious, you have to be bold, you have to be innovative, and you have to be creative, and you have to be relentless. Just relentless. Your job as an actor is not acting, your job as an actor is to get a job. You have to approach that as a business. You have to work at that eight hours a day, 10 hours a day to get a job. Work breeds work. Yeah, absolutely, you need to work where you can, get a real, get a, and more importantly, get experience. You gotta be proactive about this. And get out there and try it. It's tough, I mean, you learn your craft in one sense, but this other, the business sense is an entirely different uh, deal. It took me a, a while to realize that this is the business and you can still do your work inside that business. We tell this to people over and over. It's called show business for a reason. The better you are at realizing the, that aspect of the business, the, the more success you're going to have. I mean, I don't think talent is the number one criteria for success in this business. The number one criteria is knowing how to deal with the business elements of the business. Start to be a student of the business. Start to understand it. Accept that you're talented. Know that you're talented. But realize that if you expect that an agent is going to work for you 100% of the time when they're only getting 10% of your wage, then you're really naive you have to work the other 90% of the time. I'd never sat back and waited for the phone to ring. I never sat back and wait uh, for my agent to call me. In order to live in this business, you've got to live by your wits. I never expected anyone ever to help me. Uh, the Actors Journey Project is a 10-hour program. I mean, you could sit there and I guess watch it all 10 hours of back to back, but you really kind of need to think about it. And you really need to go through each of those 10 hours in a sequential way because a lot of it builds out of things you've heard earlier, you find out about again later, and they're kind of expanded upon. So we brought the best, the creme de la creme people to the, you know, to the table here really to give actors who want to do this for a living, um, for a career, a chance to really find out what the business aspects of your career are but not as you're doing it, before you do it, hopefully. You know, you're finishing acting school or before you actually take that first step. If you can, you know, immerse yourself in this material, you're gonna know most, more than most of the people that are in the industry. If you'd like additional information on the Actors Journey Project, uh, we invite you to come and visit us. We're online. Uh, if you go to www.theactorsjourney.com, if you're an adult actor, meaning you're 18 years or older, uh, you can find out all about the project there, who's involved, the 100 people that are involved. There's also video clips there to watch. We want you to know that these people are involved in the project, not only from the construction of the material that we're teaching, but they're actually the on-screen teachers. Once again, go to www.theactorsjourney.com. I'm Stanley Livingston, and thank you for watching broadwayblogspot.com. See you again. This is your